Warning, this video is only for entertaining purposes and some of the learning purposes. No offense is intended by any means, so if you dislike writing in Tarkov or you take everything personal, move along. If not, enjoy the video. Welcome everyone to the Circles of Tarkov. I'm your host, of course Clown, and I'm going to explain some principles for a perfect rat mindset in Tarkov, in order to become the fighter's rat in the server. And of course, you will still like these clowns anyway. Why riding in Tarkov when you can chat? Why? Cause fuck em, that's why. Well, that's a common sentence I get when people watch my videos, and it has a simple answer. It's because I enjoy rat, that's all. If you enjoy fast-paced games, go ahead. I don't expect anyone to enjoy the same thing as you. No person in this world is built echo. Anyone is different. So, unless camping is a vulnerable offense, there's gonna be people who will rat non-stop. And, of course, get over it and don't be lazy. Check all camping spots or go to another more balanced game for you. Call of Duty DMC, where the blades of the choppers kills you. There's private X-Fields, UAV spam, no inertia, teammate re revive, and this is basically beta behavior. I mean, they take care of the snow, f the player base. I was gonna say player base. Uh, sorry. Either way, DMC is more arcadey and fast. Tarkov is an unfair game, so it makes sense to use unfair tactics, okay? And modern problems require modern solutions. Lesson number one. The landscape tells tales. What's your first thought if you are going to Dome and you find this? And how about this? That's right, when you use player interaction on the map, you don't feel safe, as opposing to seeing everything intact. So, in order to be a successful rat, you gotta leave everything as it is, don't shoot lights, don't move a thing. There's higher chances of people feeling safe if you see everything on touch. Take this example. If you want to get the drop on someone without any resistance, well, make them feel it is safe, make them feel like, oh, nobody spawned here, or it is my lucky day, no one's been here. I know, sometimes you gotta check the safe in reserve to see if you are missing a lion, a bitcoin, whatever valuable, but if you want to make your presence to be fully hidden, then abstain yourself of picking anything until your job is done. Lesson number two, map knowledge. I know, I know, it is pretty obvious, but the map knowledge that the chat have is completely different to a rat. While the chat is focused on where to loot, the rats to take, what extracts to take and focus on PvP, the rat focuses on where he can hide, whatever is either spot or in a bad position, where you can climb, the routes you can take to avoid conflict or to intercept some people. Take an example of my spawn advices that I make in my videos, where you can get someone as soon as he spawns and of course, that takes map knowledge, especially in reserve, but there's too many PvP hungry chats who rush the spawns. So take the map, study the PMC spawns, go to a offline raid and check every bush, every hiding spot to survive. Of course, knowledge is power and it is true to this game. Remember, chats always lack simple game knowledge. You don't believe me? Watch this. Why is there a dead body? Of course, bro. <laughs> of course. This guy eats a PvP monster and still asks why there's a body in the extract. So, use that to your advantage, since Tarkov is a game about split-second decisions which can be life or death. 
Use the offline raid tool that is included in the game to study the maps, the routes, where you usually spawn, time your movements and of course, the collision of certain terrain to avoid being killed while riding. Lesson number 3. Your gun and you. Gunplay is a very important time of Tarkov. What to bring, what you will need and the most important thing, what ammo I'm going to use. There is no definitive answer to this, since preferences take an important role in where you are gonna camp, so I'm gonna give you some advice you can use to start. First, you gotta ask yourself, what I want to camp? What people are gonna be close or far to me? I will be seeing people from afar, I have more fun sniping or being close range. Then if you like long range hunting, well, I have some advice to you. Of course, I'm gonna be recommending the SVT with some BTPS or T45, T46M rounds. This is recommended because this is like a budget sniping a slap experience. Although the M46M rounds are tracers, so watch out with that and remember you can silence the SVT. The SKS with PS, BP or BP rounds with a 20 rounder magazine and silenced. This is going to be a perfect rat gun because it is cheap, it requires low traders and it is re reliable. You can use the PP ammo for, from extra camp chats or both in the flea market but it comes with a hard price. And if the guy you are shooting have class 6 armor in their head or in their chest, well you, have, you will have a very very bad time and he will eat a lot of shots. Personally, I don't like use 308 guns because uh, M80 is Peacekeeper level 4 and I'm not doing quests again like, you know, it is boring but if you have M80 or M62, then use the RFB, it's pretty straightforward but if you feel lucky that day, I'm gonna give you like the recipe for madness try some Saiga 12 with 20 rounders full of super performance locks or the FTX custom light slugs and aim for the chat legs and watch them panic. Now my favorite part for the close range camping experience, I have several quick recommendations. For cheap and low trader reputation builds, use a Papasha with LCMPC with a drum mag. It is funny, you know? Use a MP156, I don't know how to expel it, but the semi-auto shotgun from Scabs with Express Buckshot. This is a classic under the training interchange. For flea market users, I have several ones, but the most important component for a good leg meta build, build is rip rounds. Buy tons of them, but I mean buy tons of them because it's a long-term investment and it is so effective to take down gear players with pristine armor because nothing is more rewarding to fence an 80 out of 80 slick, you know? And of course, the MP5, the MPX and the STM are the, my bread and butter on my runs because they all can be silenced, they all can be hard like 50 round magazines and have low recoil. It is a good to go facing a duo, a trio or even a four man. Remember, with the guns it's all about taste, because there's people who likes to come with meta guns and I respect it. And it is okay because after all, slapping chats is a sport in Tarkov and it is wholesome by any methods used. Lesson number 4. Sounds. I could rat notes what gun is being used in the vicinity, where the gunshots are coming from, if someone is about to throw a grenade, how many people are in the pack of chats, and I know, I know, before you complain, I know the sound of this game is pretty bad, but you gotta work what you have in hand, you know, instead of complaining like the 90% of the player base. Since everything you do makes sounds and the first getting spotted usually it's the first who die, I'm gonna give you some advice on what sounds you can hear or what, has, what sounds you can hear and what can be heard and you know, you get the idea. Sounds that are server-sided, it means everyone can hear. Loading a magazine, checking magazine, pulling a grenade and pulling the ping out, checking your inventory, ADS, Shuffling around fast make noises, especially in bushes. Going prone. Sneaking overweight. Laser and scope sounds. Healing in general. Inspecting your gun. Eating and drinking.
dropping a backpack. Sounds that are clan-sided, it means you only can hear it. Crouching. Sneaking without overweight. Repacking magazines. Running while having a broken leg, it means they cannot hear you grunting. Lesson number 5. Don't follow the streamers or player rules. That's right, if you read the game rules, there's no limitation how to play. It's either like uh, you play like a cut player or like a statue. There's no rules in this game. Of course, except one, which is also broken anyways. So, but we play by the rules, right? If you enjoy the art of writing and it is effective to you, then listen to those who believe in morals in the game. Chats also have twist moral compass, since they write these low field messages when they get exit camp, you know? Chats are those who run like 3 or 4 and even 5 guides protecting each other's backs, abusing the desync, the picker's advantage, movement exploiting even with the inertia, killing low levels and saying welcome to Tarko Beach, going full armor to low level quest spots and murdering innocent teamies. Keep all that in mind when you question yourself about it is writing wrong and immoral. And those who question you about only bringing cheap items and having the so spoken gear fear, remember Gearfear was invented by chats to convince people of bringing good gear and don't feel like a bozo for expending 5 grenades and 50 bullets of M995 to a Keter and a bank rover. <laughs> Until next time!